Welcome back to Keys to Product Creation Success. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the seven C's of content creation. So you're going to be using content to drive traffic to your brand. You're going to be using content to get people interested in what it is that you have to offer, whether or not it's on Facebook or social media. You do need to have something to share on social media, and that is going to be your content. Content is how people stay interested in what it is that you are going to be doing in your business, especially since you're creating information products. Now, the first aspect of content creation that you want to have in every piece, and this is whether or not you're going to be doing a podcast, a blog, uh, Google Hangouts, whatever you're doing in order to create content, if you're using all these things, you want to have an element of care. In other words, one of the things that you can do to have successful content creation is make sure that your content addresses people's real concerns. So you can talk about the things that you know, you can talk about things that you're finding out in the industry, but you want to have good content creation. Make sure that your findings address people's needs, their real concerns. Uh, if, if people are concerned about how they're going to get more traffic, then address those concerns. I mean, it's great to talk about, let's say, the Google algorithm, but how does the Google algorithm relate to people's need to get traffic? Always make the connection to the things that people care about. Always th make the connection to the things that people are concerned about in their business or in their life, depending on what it is that your niche is. Okay, the second C of content creation is that you need to be consistent. Okay, if you're going to blog, then you need to be blogging on a schedule. It's less important for you to blog every day than it is for you to blog on time. So if you're going to blog once a week then and you're going to uh, have a post ready for Mondays, every Monday at that time, make sure you have that post ready and then never miss a Monday. Right? It's important for you to be consistent. It's important for, for people to be able to know what to expect from you and for them to be able to get it. If you want people to pay attention to your content, you need to have a schedule and you need to stick to it. Right, So if you're not going to blog two times a week, don't say you're going to blog two times a week. Don't start out trying to blog two times a week. Try to do it once a week. If you're going to do a podcast, there's a gentleman whose name is John Lee Dumas, and he does the Entrepreneur on Fire podcast. And his, uh, his USP is that he blogs uh, or he does a podcast every day. Now, what most people don't know about what John Lee Dumas does is that he records all those podcasts on the same day. Right. So 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 remember, if you're if you're going to do something, ju just be consistent. It's more important for you to be consistent than for you to have lots of volume and be inconsistent. Right. To throw a bunch of blog posts on each other. A lot of them aren't going to get read if you don't have them done on a on a schedule on a consistent basis. Challenge. OK, so in other words, uh, do something challenge and challenge people challenge the conventional wisdom. So your your uh, your your content is not going to get read if all it does is it repeats what everybody else reads. F find the most find the find the uh, the the issue that uh, that everybody's talking about. And guess what? If you put that issue in Google, you're going to find about a thousand copycat blogs who are all they're doing is rehashing what somebody else said and rehashing the stuff that somebody else thinks. Take a point of view, take a stand. And have a point where you are going to be talking about things from uh, that that challenges the uh, the conventional wisdom. Now again, now you know you need to know what you're talking about, right? You need to you need to not don't just challenge and be controversial for the sake of being controversial. Uh, come from a, a point of view of knowledge. Come from the point of view of experience, but certainly challenge the conventional wisdom in your content. Converse. And this is sort of connected to uh, what I'm talking about here. Um, you should be adding to the conversation, right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be, uh, uh, again, just repeating or parroting what everyone else is saying. Or you shouldn't even be talking about the things everybody else is talking about. Right? When, you, when, you're, when you're creating content and you're looking to get, and you're looking to get customers, customers want to hear something they haven't heard before. So it kind of almost stands to reason you need to be discovering some things people have not discovered, 
right, in your business, right? Your job is not to, not to mirror what everybody else says. Your mirror is to create, is to innovate, and if you can do that in your content, you're going to be able to do that in your information products, okay? Now, <clears throat> connect, right? Now, you want to think about what medium you connect the most in. Okay, so so if you if you connect well in video, then use video a lot. If you connect well in in blogging, uh, do v blogging a lot. If you connect well in in uh, audio, where do you communicate best? Where are you making the most of your connection? Where are you making the most? Um, uh, where where are you getting the most traction from customers? You want to use that medium and to really reach out and really connect with people. Right at a really personal level, so choose the medium where you can do that best in, and use that medium to connect with your customers and with your prospects. Okay, collect. Okay, collect. So you should be collecting contact contact information. That goes without saying. Content creation without collection is meaningless. So if you're not getting people's names, email addresses, that you can't contact them in order for them to buy something for you, you won't be creating content for long. Right, and this is one of the one of the issues with blogging, right? If you're not collecting, if you if you're just doing it for let's say the love of the subject, that's great. You just can't do it very long if you don't get any money, right? So so you need to be collecting names, email addresses, so you can sell these people something. And I hate to put it so bluntly, but that is really the way it is, right? You're you're creating content you can drive people to what it is that you're doing that will help them. Don't cheat people by trying to teach them everything in your blog. Don't cheat people by trying to teach them everything you know in a podcast. That's not, that's not helping them, and it's certainly not going to help you help them. right? You need to make sure you give people your best, and the way you give people your best is you give them the opportunity to buy something where they then can, they then can get the, 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 the perspective that's really going to help them in a course, in a piece of software or something that they can use on their own time. Okay, content, use your content to, to collect names and email addresses. Create. And this is very important, right? And, this, and it's the last, it's the last C of content creation I really want to kind of talk to you about. And it is this. Remember, uh, people, in, in particular marketers, right? They're taking time they don't have to read something you put together, right? So this is time they don't have. And so make it worth their while. Be, otherwise, it won't be back, right? If somebody took 10 minutes out to read your article or to listen to your podcast, was it worth their time? Or is it something that you just kind of put together just because you had a, a scheduled time to do a podcast? Was it just you had it on the calendar so you had to do it? Create something, right? Make something. Take your time and do something that's going to be worth people coming back to again and again and again. This is vital because content that that really gets people to buy is is interesting right so so that means that in, i think it was alice mondozian who said a long time ago and he might still say this that if you want to be interesting you have to be interested in something take time to show people that you are interested in your subject matter create something worth their time okay so with that thanks and i will see you in the next video